Hello everyone, I'm Dion from Dion Video Productions. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use an external microphone with Final Cut Pro. Let's get started. Alright, so if you're doing any kind of voiceover work like I'm doing right now, it is essential to use an external microphone as this will sound far better than your computer's built-in microphone. Now there's a wide variety of different types of microphone, but the type that I recommend most for this kind of work is a cardioid microphone, as these have a very narrow pickup pattern which allows you to focus on your voice and not the surrounding environment. In addition to this, if you have your voice close to the microphone, you actually get really good sound quality out of these, and these don't even have to cost that much. If you're actually looking for a great USB cardioid microphone, I highly recommend checking out my full review on this microphone from Fifine. This is a high quality, very affordable option that I'm actually using right now. I'll leave that video linked down below. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is plug your microphone into your computer. Now this will be done either via the USB port or the headphone port. Once you've plugged in your microphone, we're gonna make sure that the computer recognizes the external microphone as its primary input source. Now to do this, we're gonna access system preferences. First, click on the Apple logo in the top left hand of the screen, and then click on system preferences. From here, we're gonna click on sound, and of these options, we're gonna go all the way to the right under input. Now just beneath that, we have a list of microphones that your computer has detected. Now chances are the first option will be selected for you, which is the max internal microphone. And beneath that, you should find the microphone that you've plugged in. In this case, mine is labeled Fifine K678 microphone. Now to choose the external microphone as the primary input source, simply double click it. And we've now switched the primary input source to your external microphone. Now just beneath that to make sure the microphone is working and that the computer is recognizing its audio, you can also look at the live input level and to make sure that this is moving. From here we also have the option to change the input volume or the microphone's gain. Alright, so now that we have successfully changed the input source on your Mac, your Mac will now automatically switch over to the external microphone as its primary audio source. Now let's go back to Final Cut Pro. All right, so here in Final Cut Pro, in my project line, I have a video. This actually happens to be the review for the microphone that I mentioned earlier. And let's say we want to record a voiceover over this clip. Now to do this, we're gonna go up into the menu bar and under window, we'll click on record voiceover. Now from here, a smaller window like this will appear. And the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that the correct input source is selected. So to do this, we're gonna go under input, click on the options, and then we're gonna go from the built-in microphone to your external microphone. Now again, mine is labeled Fifine, and from here we have the option to detect this as a mono or as a stereo channel. Now, most cardioid microphones like the one I am using actually record in mono audio, but then what Final Cut does is it creates two channels of mono, thereby replicating the stereo effect. So in this case, we're gonna select mono. And over here at the top, again, we have a live view of what the levels are like, and this will allow us to see and adjust the microphone's gain, which can be done with this slider just beneath that. Now, to make sure that your microphone gain is set properly, simply speak into the microphone and make sure that this line stays green. You want this to be as close to the yellow section, which is just about here, as possible, while of course not crossing into the red. You essentially want the microphone's gain to be as high as possible without reaching these levels. This will allow you to get the perfect balance between not being too loud and peaking or being too soft and hard to hear. Just beneath that, we also have the option to change the name of our recording. This is useful to do as this will make it easy to identify in your timeline, especially if you have many elements. I recommend changing it to something like VO for voiceover. And taking a look further down in the options menu, we also have the option to turn on or off the monitor. Now the monitor function allows you to hear live what the microphone is picking up, essentially allowing you to hear your voice as you're speaking. This is a great function to have if say you're doing a podcast, but if you're doing a voiceover like this, it is essential to use headphones or earphones as if you're gonna be using your Mac speakers, while you're recording, the sound of your voice will then be outputted through your Mac speakers and then picked up in the microphone, outputted again, etc. And this will create a cycle that will disrupt the audio significantly. So again, only turn on the monitor if you have a pair of headphones or earphones plugged in. And beneath that, of course, we have a slider to separately adjust the gain for the monitor. And a little bit further down, we also have the option to turn on or off the countdown to record. I always like to have this on. And then you can also choose to mute the project while recording. Now in my case, as you can see, my project has audio. And if I were to start recording, the project audio will now play. Now, of course, we don't want this to be picked up by the microphone if we're using the speaker. So I prefer to check this on to mute the project while recording. And the last setting I wanna show you is you can also change or choose the specific event in which you want your recording to be stored. 
All right, so once all your settings are set and ready to go, we can now go ahead and press record. We get the three second countdown and the recording will start. As you can see, if we take a look at the timeline here, you'll see that Final Cut is now creating a new element as we speak. This is being added just beneath the project as any other audio file would. And once we're done with recording, simply press the stop button right here. Now let's take a closer look at the timeline here and you'll see that this has been named as VO as we said earlier. So this clearly defines this as a voiceover recording. We can then go ahead and click and drag and modify this as we would with any other element or clip in Final Cut Pro. All right, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, if you're looking for a microphone, I highly recommend checking out my full review of this FiFine microphone. Thank you very much for watching and like and subscribe for more content like this.